Why I'm doing this, you know, I'm like a very hardcore, uh, a passionate uh, Rolex collector and the brand has really hit me deep uh, inside and I got uh, really much interested in uh, all details and history that has been so enormously with the Rolex past and it's amazing, uh, especially in the tool watch concept, uh, what Rolex did and how forwarded they are and how good they were uh, working together with explorers and with adventurers like the Jacques Picard or also like the Tanzing family and the Hillary family. So you see, so that was my dream. If you could become a Rolex collector, you are interested in the past and you are admiring the fact that Rolex was so forwarded. So that came into play because Rolex used that philosophy of them. They have a very well-known advertisement saying that it is from the bottom of the world to the top, uh, to the from the bottom, uh, from the top of the world to the bottom of the sea. It is uh, all Rolex that you are dependent on. So that is 1953. So and from there on, you know, that's like showing the world the maximum you can reach with endorsement of watches. So what else could another company tell? So I once spoke with a guy who worked with Rolex, and he told me something funny. I always remember. So he said, like, you know, we make what I mean, we make Rolex. And the others make watches. So I, I thought, like, really, that's so. Uh, yeah. This is like the uh, Haiti uh, creates Hillary Tensing Explorer package. And what we do is uh, we created a special uh, replica of the original crates that have been uh, that have been uh, carried away by uh, the English team. Uh, you see over the card over here, starting uh, from here all the way down. And these crates, they had like 600, 600 tons of material they were taking with them. So compared to the Swiss doing only 20 tons, that's a lot of boxes you need to carry and a lot of shelves. Like, imagine, you know. And, so that was the idea behind the packaging. And this is, you cannot bring more honor to the fact that Hillary and Tensing uh, uh, wore Rolex watches uh, during the 1953 expedition. And they did, didn't they? Has that been proven now? They wore Rolex on the 1953 expedition? I, and of course there was a Rolex on the 1953 expedition <laughs> because they were like sponsoring it since the 1930s already. So that Good is, to hear. you know, but there were also Smith watches over there. But yeah, Rolex watches were uh, prototype watches being used for special expeditions given by Rolex to the British uh, expedition, the Swiss expedition. So that's very important. But uh, they use them as prototypes and that means that these watches have to come back because otherwise it doesn't make sense because if you bring it up there you have to see what happened afterwards so you have to study them. So lots of watches that come in the market are from people from Mount Everest or whatever even if they are signed. Um, we have two watches over here and we'll uh, show you immediately. Um, this is the, what are these? This is the original uh, George Band watch worn by him in 1953 during the uh, successful ascent. And this is also the original dial. And you see, uh, it has, still has uh, the original Swiss dial and the radium dots. And it is... Uh, it's fabulous. I, yeah. And it's getting really a, 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 like an ivory color. And uh, you know, the old type dial in uh, design with the Rolex crown down and, uh, you know, with the typical older uh, design they used it. So uh, what we see is like, we see like a bubble bag movement from the earlier age, put in a stainless steel movement and then getting it on top of the world, you know. So what they were selling, with other words, for many, many years since the 20s, is like a watch that is, uh, um, is stainless steel but has a, a simple logic. So what they did afterwards, after they reached the Mount Everest, and Rolex changed their optic and they, they, they already uh, registered the design name of Explorer in the beginning of 53 but as they were probably thinking that in 52 they would have been on the top of the Mount Everest with the Swiss team so they realized that it, uh, they already had the name uh, registered so what we see over here is like the 55 watch worn by George uh, Bantz it's a really cool watch because he uh, this, he, the, so he worn this on the first ascent and this, this is, on a successive ascent. This no, this is uh, this is uh, Kanchun uh, Yunga. Okay. And that is the third highest mountain in the world, but even much more dangerous than average. Much more difficult. Really, okay. really, really, really. This first <laughs> or third. 1955 George Bent, you know. Okay. It's really a great piece of history. So uh, George Bent is in the house, and he uh, asked me to uh, that's look for. That's fabulous. Set. Two great watches. So what we see is we have a lot of Rolex history in, 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 in uh, 
looking around on the interesting history what Rolex did. You know, they they get they came up with the, on the mountain with a with a white out watch. You know, and they find the idea with the two watch concept, and they you know they started off with the, with black dial three six nine, which makes a significant different look to uh, was, watch. Was was this the first time that Rolex had developed a three six nine dial? Yes, this is the first. No, yes, it's pro. Yeah, no, they, 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 they did the three six nine dials also earlier, so it's not a new type of design. Okay. They did it with the bubble bags earlier, okay. with the Richard Hooded and that kind of dials. They already did it. But what was different was they started using Loom so much, you know. Okay. And in this way, Loom with black dial three six nine. And you know that's funny because you know when you think about Explorer, everybody thinks like seeing the newest Explorer. And this is like the prototype of the. Uh, HTA uh, Explorer. Um, we um, we think this really a very cool watch, and that's why we didn't want to do much on the looks of the watch because Re Rolex has really designed the watch very well and sleek. We only you know the, the finish. So what did, what did you the, do? So we, the, yeah, you exactly. made it all you made it all brushed. I mean it's yeah. matte. Yeah, right? yeah, it's matted, and you know we're working on. We're explorers in red. Yeah, with the explorers on red, and then you know this is, and then the three six nine on the dial also matte because it makes you the look better on the dial because okay. you know once you tested it all, so this is really one of the first prototypes. It's even uh, the red is even painted with a hand on the dial because <laughs> always when I have something in my mind, it has to be done immediately. I don't want to make. You know, started making a cliche sure. or something else. I just sure. want to see how it is. And on the other hand, what we, what I really believe in, and that is maybe something I also want to add. You know, I'm a passionate Rolex collector, loving the heritage. And what I don't want is put my name on a dial, on a watch, and then say, "Ah, oh, look how great my name is." You know, I don't like that. So what I love is the history of Rolex. Maybe next week we're gonna have the new Explorer too. And we, we are very much looking forward to that. And we are, I really think that they will uh, hopefully bring us a black dial with an orange hat. <laughs> and not only we all a white dial. Not so, just you. Yeah, but you know, there's speculation last year with the white dial and the video that sneaked out. Of course. Uh, you know, but white Which dial with here. orange hand is, you know, if you're really going to push it a little bit further and you do the black dial with orange hand, then, it, then I think then you show respect, you know. That is more of a watch you want to have. So what we did for this special crate we're going to talk yeah, about Yeah, tell now, us, let's talk about this, this is, now. This is, the, uh, this, is the, um, this is the crate we uh, delivered. Uh, this is a special heritage tuned HTA project. And this is uh, number 88 of 88, the last one, double eight, father, son, okay. eight, eight, luck, you know, slash eight, eight, father, son, luck, you know, so this is the logic. We're going to use simple logic. And we tuned this, uh, this uh, set, we tuned it with uh, three watches, as you see. Uh, first of all, we do the, um, the Explorer one you just saw. We just saw, okay. Exactly. Then we do uh, original um, Explorer two, orange sure. hand, to honor the fact that the sons of um, Hillary and Tansing both got these watches. Okay. You know, this, I have a watch, I showed the watch down here that was the original Hara watch. And this is the, um, um, how do you say, the Hara uh, Rolex uh, was down here and the Rolex from uh, Peter Hillary also, you, uh, we, you saw earlier today. And this is the edition we're going to deliver. So, again, no messy on the dial, respectful, honest watch, honest hair, uh, vintage Rolex, uh, but added with a great perfume on the back to honor the past. And, what, and so what we have is engraving on the back. You're going to see it over here. We engraved the Hillary uh, Dancing Explorer, 88 of 88. And this one is uh, dedicated to uh, the sons. Um, so you can see around the outside, yeah. yeah, there you go. Exactly. Sons of the Everest, Samatheus, and that is uh, Peter Hillary you met today, and Jemlin Tensing Norgay. So this is the uh, the case back of you. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. So we have that one. That okay, so, so, you've got, so you've got basically... Um, and to have the fact uh, about the, the Tensing, exactly, yes. 
We discovered in the Tensing family the, the, the watch I published out, the gold datures given by the Rolex uh, company, given by the Rolex company again. You know, I Very generous. I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. When I thought about that, but this is really a special moment because uh, um, uh, they, they engraved it and for him and for the momentum of the 52 expedition. So what we do is, uh, as this watch is not for sale and I do, would not like to engrave it or put it in or... I with an identical watch uh, we add to the uh, we add to this uh, sale of number 88 to honor the fact that the dancing family had given a gold Rolex for the uh, for their all the, his uh, uh, enormous achievement he did for Rolex. So this specially tuned watch to get the maximum for the benefit as the whole result of the watch that's going to be or the whole crate that's going to be auctioned at Christie's in Geneva on 16 May, mm -hmm. then the whole result will go to the Tensing and the Hillary family for the Himalaya Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. What you guys are offering, in fact, is a combination of old and new. No, that's only for this, uh, don't forget, this is only for the benefit the 88 of 88. Okay. We add the what special the orange ones? hand okay. and the special uh, yeah. and the gold. special gold dates. Okay. Now, what do the other ones have then? What will the other 87? And you know, you have to be patient because I don't know what Rolex is going to do next week. Oh, okay. So, uh, so what's your, okay. If, they, if they bring out the Explorer 2, then I'm going to tell you the story. <laughs> but you know, we, we pronounce it that there will be three Explorers. Okay. Why? I would not put a Daytona or. A, Submarina into a box it's, that it's is honored to Hillary. Family. Exactly. So okay. it is. It is a watch that honors that fact. And these are two great, four great men that honor. It's really amazing to see how much they did also during the life for Rolex. You know, they had a really close, close, yeah, interaction between each other. So the bottom line, though, is if any of you want to get piece of heritage, a piece of history, it's number 88. Yeah, that's exactly. That's going to be auctioned at Christie's? That's going to be auctioned at Christie's on 16 May, so that will be good fun because we're going to do another kind of theme also in Geneva. Because Peter Hillary and Tensing Norway, and Jim and Tensing Norway, will also come to Geneva on the 14th of May. And there we have a gathering in the heart of Geneva, always on Saturday evening, with Christie's party together, having the best collectors in the world, the greatest friends, really big time fun. Peter Hillary and Jeremy will give a lecture over there also, so everybody who sees come over there and have fun. And on Monday, the special crate will be auctioned for the benefit of their foundation, so that's top. It's a valid cause, it's a great concept, and the watches are spectacular. So all we can advise you to do is pay attention, <laughs> be there on the day itself, and we'd like to thank Philip Stahl, his wonderful collection of watches, and for having the Prodigal Guide here at the HC Launch. Philip, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>